You know, how many people are languishing or, or barely afloat without that lifeline? So it, for a person out in the street, it's, 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 it's darkness. Prevention Works was DC's biggest needle exchange program, providing free needles across the city in what HIV AIDS activists call a key part of the fight against the disease. But the program suddenly shut down in February 2011, and many were critical, saying it wasn't for lack of dollars. We'll get a real one soon. D.C. Mayor Adrian Fenty presented a $300,000 check to a private group, Prevention Works, which distributed 200,000 needles last year with private donations. They weren't delivering the service. Clean needles, great client care, great patient navigation. So if you're not delivering it, the client's going to go somewhere. And it's not a matter of, well, these people were injection drug users. Shut up and get your needle wherever you get your free needle when I give it to you. No, it doesn't work that way. It is widely acknowledged that those funds were mismanaged and the program shut down. I think if you asked anybody in the District of Columbia, who's your number one needle exchange advocate, they'll tell you Ron Daniels. Prevention Works had actually a very different trajectory when they made a decision to let Ron go. What we call one hit kits. And this is very important as it relates to reducing the spread of HIV because it has a clean, sterile cooker, it has cotton, and it has an alcohol pad, which you clean and They didn't know it was no other program, so they had to feel, um, you know, neglected. They had to feel like, you know, here we go again. They don't give a shit about us. They throwing us under the bus. You know what I mean? Um, we drug users, we deserve to die. These are mostly for use. We get these for transgenders. Um, and they use, well, because, you know, they take hormone injection shots, which create different things. Uh, breasts, enlarged ass. Drug users will usually get uh, one of four different types. It's good to have people that care about people. You have to have people that's in tune to the community, people that live in the community, and people that have uh, some 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 bought interest to what's going on in the community. So if I'm living in Georgetown and I'm running a program in the city and I'm going into these wars that I have no invested interest, even the only thing I care about is putting syringes in the street because I live in Georgetown and that's not showing up on, you know, on my street. We're on La Bomb Street. A new city report released recently shows new cases of HIV AIDS have been cut in half between 2007 and 2009. It says groups like Duane's, who works for a community education group, a Southeast DC based nonprofit, has picked up the slack. While Duane's group doesn't hand out free needles, it does tell people about other city programs that are taking the place of prevention works. I'm asking people, what do they know about HIV and AIDS? Well, yeah. I don't know too much about HIV and AIDS. You got the needles, they're sharing the needles and everything else, man. That's how it's supposed to be, man. man you got the unprotected sex with the young, young adults. Very you know what I'm saying? They're not being educated by the parents, but most of the parents are all here on this school. Right. Because a lot of people out here, all they know is the drug. If they don't have a clean needle, guess what they're going to do? They're using their buddy's needle. And right now, today, a lot of people just don't know what HIV is. see something coming about no matter what. I think there will be uh, advancements that will be announced at this conference and I think you'll see implementation uh, of those findings uh, not, he not only here but across the world. So the opportunity to have the, the world here in this city is both an opportunity and a symbol. And the question is are they going to be cosmetic uh, fixtures or are they going to be long term because no one wants to look bad in front of the world. When opportunities have come we haven't taken them. Hopefully in 2012 um, with the conference and people coming from all over the world, um, it will make a difference. For outsiders, the conference in 2012 may be about science and policy, but for many of DC's activists, it's intensely personal. When people talk about the story of seeing death, I've, I've seen that. They see that, that moment where you're not sure where you're going to go. But as they say in, in some black spirituals, um, the, the light will come in the morning. Being, being an addict, you know, um, being a person who um, is HIV positive, been HIV positive for 22 years and still undetectable, um, 
I know that God is good. I am not homeless. I have been. I am not, you know, an addict, but I have abused drugs. You know, these things have affected me, and so when I argue them, when I advocate for them, I am speaking of me, but I'm also speaking for others. Fasting, you know, um, conversation, impression, and things will, will finally change, and, and, and maybe we'll start receiving the services and the help and the financial assistance that we need to get this done.